Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Sustainability and Renewable Energy Forum, or SARA 2021, brought to you by Sarawak Energy and the UN Global Compact Network of Malaysia and Brunei. My name is Frida Liu, and I'll be your host today. I don't need to remind those present about the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by all United Nations member states in 2015. This shared blueprint of 17 Sustainable Development Goals underpin SDG Ambition Month and Anchor Sarif and the role of the renewable energy sector attaining the goals. In 2019, the SARAF 1.0 brought together diverse stakeholders, decision makers, and like-minded individuals and organizations to Kuching Sarawak to discuss and commit to building a more sustainable energy future for our region, Southeast Asia. This year, SARAF 2.0 continues the discussion on our shared energy future in which we all have a stake. The last two years have transformed our lives completely, making this discussion even more important. SARA 2.0 is integrated within the Go ESG ASEAN 2021 Summit over this afternoon, building on SARA 1.0 and further exploring areas and collaboration opportunities and sustainability, focusing on the role of the renewable energy sector. Let's kickstart today with Dr. Amar Ab Abdul Hamid Sapawi, patron of SARA 2.0 and chairman of SARA Energy, with his welcome address to launch SARA 2.0. Distinguished delegates, speakers, guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at the second Sustainability and Renewable Energy Forum or SARAF 2.0, organized with United Nations Global Compact Network Malaysia and Brunei as part of Sustainable Development Goal or SDG Ambition Month. In December 2019, Sarawak Energy, together with Sarawak Ministry of Utilities, launched the inaugural Sustainability, Sustainability and Renewable Energy Forum, SARE. Our ambition was to start a regional discourse with ASEAN on the role of renewable energy and sustainability in delivering the United Nations Sustainability Development Goal by 2030 especially goal number seven, affordable and clean energy, and goal number 13, climate action. The world in 2019 was a different place, and SARAF 1.0 was a very different event to what we host today. SARAF 1.0 was a two-day event that attracted about 1,000 local and international attendees to Kuching, Sarawak from relevant industries in the energy sector. We are honoured to have United Nations Development Program Ambassador Tan Sri Michelle Yo speak at the event. And we are able to emphasise the need to transform global energy sector to meet the UN SDG and climate targets under the Paris Agreement. More importantly, we brought together diverse stakeholders and key opinion leaders together to the table. This included rural communities affected by our hydropower project, financiers, as well as sustainability-driven businesses. We also launched Sarawak First Renewable Energy Certificate, or REC, to increase the uptake of renewables in Southeast Asia by allowing corporations to benefit from our renewable electricity. Ladies and gentlemen, through SARAF 2.0, we will continue to honour our commitment to make sure the regional conversation continues, but this time on a fully virtual platform. I hope that delegates and panelists can exchange learning and explore areas of collaboration so different stakeholders can work together towards a sustainable energy future 
within ASEAN through this year focused discussion on eradicating energy poverty while meeting sustainability, reliability and affordability requirements. Sharing of lessons learned in how Sarawak is expanding our renewable energy footprint to allow for more inclusion in a sustainable energy future for the region. And the open conversation between some of ASEAN energy leaders and how they are managing the energy transition. As we begin this afternoon discussion, I would like to leave this question open to all attendees. What are the opportunities in renewable energy partnership? Is it in the interconnection or green hydrogen production? Can renewable energy certificate REC play a bigger role? Ultimately, how can we work together for a sustainable energy future for all? Thank you once again to United Nations Global Compact Network Malaysia and Brunei for your support and partnership in Sarawak Energy's initiative. With this, it is my pleasure to officially welcome you and open SARF 2.0. Thank you. Everybody recognize hydropower is renewable. We will ensure that uh, we will engage with the government. The Malaysian government has uh, the aspiration to have 20% renewable energy by 2025. And today they are 6%. Yeah? But if they include our hydropower, it's 22.5%.